We mentioned passband and baseband many times. So it's time to understand what is the meaning of baseband and passband. We are going to discuss these two concepts. So first of all, we are going to study about the baseband. What is baseband? Or we can say a baseband signal refers to signals before modulation, which have frequencies much lower than carrier or signals after modulation. So um, we have three kinds of signals. The signals before modulation, which is the message signal. This message signal is going to be our baseband signal. We have a carrier and we have a signal after modulation. But both carrier and signal after modulation, they have high frequency, so they are not considered baseband. So the only baseband signal is our message. It's very simple. So the example can be uh, our voice. We can say the baseband signal is usually a message signal. When we are uh, talking on the phone, we are producing sound and uh, and this signal has a certain spectrum. It starts from a frequency and ends in uh, frequency. So it's a range and it's a band, and we call it baseband. Another one, it can be the binary data, which is produced by a computer. And we want to transmit this binary data with communication system. So this binary data uh, has the spectrum. It depends on its uh, bit rate. So uh, this is also called the baseband signal. These are two good examples that shows our baseband. So basically, when we are saying the baseband, it means that it's, it's our message signal. It means the signal which is not modulated, which is going to be modulated. So let's see what happens if we don't have the modulation. Imagine that there is a person and this person is talking. So we have the uh, we have uh, his or her voice. And if we check the spectrum, it's going to be like this, as you see in the uh, figure. And uh, we are going to see the only the half side of it, uh, the single side. And let's say it's starting from 20 hertz and ending in 20 kilohertz. So this is this is called the baseband signal and it's a spectrum. So now let's imagine that another person is talking at the same time because human is more or less has the same band, same spectrum. Uh, the tone may be different, but the spectrum is more or less identical. So what happens if we want to send the, uh, both of these uh, voices together? So as you see, they're going to be uh, folded on each other, the spectrum, and uh, this will cause interference. So uh, that's why we want to avoid this, and we want to do modulation in order to uh, send this data. So we are going to see what we can do in order to avoid this uh, problem. So first we have to talk about the passband. What is the passband? It refers to signals after or including modulation which have frequencies around carrier frequencies. So this time we are talking about the frequencies uh, which uh, have the uh, higher frequency and we actually we shifted them so we have the base band then we use modulation we do frequency shift then our spectrum uh, moves shifts to the high frequency most of the time around the carrier so we call this pass band or basically this is the transmitted uh, signal we are going to transmit this because it has a high frequency so pass band signal is usually modulated signal or transmitted signal so uh, let's see what is happening to the, the uh, passband here. So again, we are imagining that we have a person talking and the baseband signal spectrum. And if you check the half size is from 20 to 20 kilohertz. But now here we are going to modulate this band. And now this happens. As you see, we are shifting the frequency in both sides and we are going to higher frequencies. So basically we move this channel, we move this band to the higher frequencies. So you can see here at the left side, we show the signal at the baseband. But now after doing modulation, we are moving to the higher frequency and you can see the both sides at the higher frequency, which is called the passband signal. So now uh, we're doing modulation. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www. .rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rahsoft would provide the Rahsoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.